In this video, we are going to look at what we need to download in order to install uh, Maya Ace. But before we do uh, any of that, we are going to make sure that we meet the requirements. So first you have to have Maya installed 2023, 2024 or 2025. Here it says 2024 recommended, but I'm using 2025 for this, uh, these tutorials. So neither one or the other is good. Uh, Windows 10, 64 bit or 11. You need an internet connection, not only for downloading the installation files, but also when we are going to connect to the microservice sits on, since it is on the NVCF cloud, you'll need a, an internet connection to be able to connect to the microservice. To connect to the microservice, you also need an API key. That's the subject of the next video. We'll show you how to set that up, but that's important to have one. And then a few files to play with uh, in order to, to get some results. But uh, the format that's required is WAVE, 16-bit uh, or 32-bit float, and sample rate 16 uh, or 32, 48 kilohertz, and it needs to be mono. But once you have that, that's good. We're ready to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to connect to this uh, site here on GitHub. It's GitHub NVIDIA Ace, And when we get on that uh, site, you'll see that everything is there. So this is all the code. The code is open source, so you can download it and, and, and work with it. And if you want to see some of the documentation on the code and the uh, the application itself or the plugin itself, it's all there. So you can look at that. And uh, some of the, the uh, actually most of the things that we are going to look at in the tutorials are also uh, described in, in much more depth in the documentation. So if there's anything that uh, you need more information on, go to the documentation and it's right here. So for this video, for this setup, we're just going to set up the, we're going, we're going to download only what's needed as a minimum. So the first thing we're going to download, we go into releases here and we need to download this uh, zip file. So that's the plugin. That's the built plugin. You don't need to build it. It's the, it's the, uh, the, the version that you can download and, and play with uh, immediately. So it's going to download here. Then I can go back to the, uh, oops, to the top menu here. And there's a folder called sample data. And inside of sample data, there's a few things. So there's a few audio files that are correctly formatted. You've got some FBX files as well. But what we need as a minimum is we go into the Maya project. Here, there's a sample ace uh, animation player dot. Uh, it's a Maya file, Maya, Maya binary. So I'm going to download that. And if you want to, you can download one of these audio files to work with. The, the longest one here is six seconds. So I'm just going to download this one as well. And those are the kind of the three files that I, that that I need at, at least to at, at least. Uh, for starting uh, the project. So once we have that, we need to find in, in Maya where is the module path. So if you have 2023 installed, it's in my document, Maya 2023 modules. Um, if you have 2024, it's kind of the same pattern. But if you have 2025, it's in your program files, Autodesk Maya 25 modules. And it, it may be possible that it's somewhere else on your, uh, on your computer if you just, if you've configured that uh, differently. But once you have that, once you know where the module uh, is, so if I go to the downloads that I've got, I've got the WAV file, I've got the plugin in here, and I've got the sample file. If I go into my modules path, what I'll do is I'll just copy, well, I'll just, uh, just cut and paste it here. And once it's there, I'm just going to extract it here. And once extracted, you'll see that we have the maze.mod. And when we are going to start Maya, it's going to be ready to go. So the, the other two files, I'm just going to put them in a folder where I know where they are. So I created a folder called sample scenes. I'm going to place that here, and I'm ready to start Maya. So inside of Maya, you'll see here a menu called Ace. This is where we're going to uh, start working with uh, the uh, Maya Ace plugin. If ever Ace doesn't show up, you need to go into Windows, Settings, and go into the Plugin Manager. And you are going to look for Ace. And uh, you'll see that it's right here, plugin, uh, it's really at uh, modules in the, the module folder. And you make sure that it's loaded and it's auto loaded. So if it's not, if it's not on, just make sure that it's uh, turned on and you'll be uh, ready to go. We, um, for the Maya plugin, the Maya Ace plugin to work well, we need to be at 30 frames per second. So if I go into the frame rate here, I will make sure that I'm at 30 frame uh, per second, 30 frames per second. And uh, also another important thing is the cache playback. We need to turn that off. So now we're ready to use Ace. What I'll do is I'll load the sample scene that I've downloaded so that we can have a look at it. So if I just open scene and I've got the sample Ace animation uh, file here, so I'm gonna open it up. 
and we have Mark and Claire here. And what you'll notice if ever it happens, if this is on, you'll see that you're only uh, going to see the, the two geometries here and those two uh, uh, groups here. But if you want to see uh, everything, you need to turn that on. And you'll see somewhere in there the Ace animation player. So once you select it, you have the animation player here. We're not ready to use this yet because we're not connected to the, the, uh, the microservice. We need to set up the API key. That's going to be the subject of the next video, but at least that we know that it's properly installed. We're seeing the, uh, the, the player here and we'll be able to start uh, playing with that when we're gonna connect to the, the microservice.